Thank you, and that's nine. And uh, there's a jury that I didn't hear at all. Byron and one DL, I believe that was the correct call. That's uh, an S9, an N6ME. So I'm not using a I'm not using a an SDR at all. I am using a 7300, and I am um, I developed a basically a three port network that will handle a kilowatt. And a three port network is nothing more than three ports. Of What's in uh, on one end? 500 comes out the other two ends as long as it's balanced. Having two antennas with slightly different lengths, you never get quite a perfect balance. Um, but I'm able to work from a 10%, 90% ratio to a 50-50 ratio. Sometimes, sometimes it's better putting more power to a dot pole. Sometimes it's better putting power into a vertical. The the whole goal behind this was the theory is that in diversity, uh, the signal is changing polarity based upon the ionosphere and what the and what Mother Nature is doing to a transmitter signal. So that if you can use multiple receivers to enhance your signal to noise ratio and hear things better, I wanted to see if it, it was possible to do it in the other direction. In other words, I waste a little power by putting some of it in the horizontal polarization and some of it in the vertical polarization with the goal that at the receiving end, when the uh, selective fading occurs... What you're watching here is a running demonstration of the transverter that's taking a signal from the outside antenna and what I'm doing is I'm comparing it to an ICOM IC725 that's sitting over here on the side and I take the antenna now put it over here Dipole, on the ICOM, so I have an that's the ICOM receiving the that same signal. And, uh, two away, a vertical, a 40. Now, hook it to the antenna input of the transverter. Radio ground system. The, the uh, phasing network is not really a phasing network. It's just a simple 50. That's, that's 50 coming out of the CB radio. Channel 16 the on the CB. Now, I don't know if you can see this. I'll, the radio's sitting on its side, so we're going to see if you can see. The radio is tuned to 7.155. That's showing up without all the glare. And that's it. That's the receiving. That's the receiving side of the converter. Now what I'll do is I'll unhook some wires here and come back with just a second uh, and show you the the setup I've got. Okay. Now the camera will be a little less <laughs> jiggly. Sorry about that if that was a little bit too much movement, but uh, it was the only way I could get the uh, other radios in view uh, versus where I have the uh, you know, transverter mounted is sitting on the bench. But that's an actual received signal with the transverter and for those of you that like to run things on low power here's a surprise this circuit is designed for 150 volts but let me just show you here you can see that meter let me change it over here to the solar panel where I've got the solar panel coming in at 
right there 33.5 volts that, that's actually what this thing's running on even I just had to try to see but it's uh, it's designed to run on 150 volts but I thought well let's just see what it'll do uh, and there it is 33 33 and a half volts we're getting some shading on the solar panel so it's going up and down a little bit but that's that's what it's running on okay um, let me go ahead and undo everything here so I can move this around a little bit okay the two tubes I'm using in this particular one because I just I wanted to run it straight off of 12 volts uh, is a 12 AU6 and a 12 BE6. Now the actual tubes, uh, if you can get that, let me see if I can bring the focus down. Maybe. Okay, there. Getting a lot of glare, I know. There, it's a little better. Wire hanging in the way. Okay, there's the circuit anyhow. The RF amp, this is the one I showed you earlier. It's, uh, just can't get rid of that glare. Alright, it's a 6AU6, but a 12AU6 is the same tube, it just uses different filament voltage. That's the RF amp that I built first. The two tuners I was tuning to peak the antenna and the output of the RF amp were these two trimmers. The whole circuit, this is the whole receive converter. Here's the RF amp again and the two tuners that I was tuning and the mixer uh, which the original circuit is a 6BE6 but like I say I just wanted to see if it'll run on 12 volts and uh, the other uh, solar panel voltage so it's a 6VE6 and you could use either one just depends on how you want to run it if you would like to run this thing uh, totally off grid then a 12 volt tube and 12 volt car batteries are easier to come by than something to change something to 6 volts so that's why I just I just put in a 12AU6 and a 12BE6 just to check it out but yeah 150 volts you would have to supply 12 volts for the uh, Zener here to drop the 5 volts uh, to uh, run the TCXO. That's the little mixer uh, crystal oscillator. I'll show you that. Uh, it's right here. That's it right there. Little crystal oscillator. This is what they call a half a half format it's one half of the normal case size the zener right here soldered to ground and the little feed resistor in this particular case I just had it running off of the 20 off of the 33 volts and uh, it's a 1.5 K resistor and that's also what it will use uh, boy that's hard to get in focus let me try this again get it out of the way you can run 12 volts through that or if you use a 12 volt I just would use a 1k resistor and that's what the schematic shows uh, just where you could run it with 12 volts but since I had a little higher voltage I just went ahead and used a 1.5k on this circuit the turns on the uh, input the antenna coil and the plate coil for the uh, 6AU6, the RF amp, that was 35 turns of 30 gauge wire, quarter inch diameter. The um, coil for the output 
of the mixer. I can't get that thing to stay. Okay. The mixer. This is what converts it up to 27 meg. So this coil is actually running at 27 megacycle or yeah, 27 megacycles. And that's 11 turns of 20 gauge wire on a quarter inch diameter form. That's I don't know if you can see right right there. You can yeah, you can see the the wire on it. And this lead here this sample, you can see the coax right here. This coax is right now, it's normally this would be hooked to a relay once we get this thing all hooked up. This coax just runs over to the antenna input of the CB radio just for testing purposes. And then right here is where I hook the outside antenna to the input of the receive converter. Okay. Well, that's pretty much for this stage of the build. Um, what I'll start doing is wiring up. This is the mixer, and the driver, and the final. And I'm going to run another sample. The cap right, whoop, not quite in the picture there. It's a 10 puff cap. I'm going to attach another one and I'll bring it over so I can get that same 20 megahertz sample over to the uh, mixer. And this is the transmit mixer, and this will take 27 megs. It'll remove 20 megacycles of that, and it'll, it'll leave you with a seven megacycle signal, seven megacycle signal to get amplified and use for your output out to your antenna. This is the transmit side for the mixer, driver. The driver is a 12BY7, and the final I'm going to use a 26HU5. The little crystal oscillator, TCXO, is a 20 megahertz unit. Puts out about a volt peak to peak, and uh, schematics right now, that one I showed you is available for what I got here. Um, I'll be drawing the schematic for the uh, mixers, transmit mixer, the driver, and the final here uh, just as soon as I can get them done. And I'll probably just draw them stage at a time. I'll draw the schematic, test it wire it up, make sure that I've got everything right, and then the schematic will be available for you guys to download if you want it. Okay, thank you for watching. If you have any questions or would like to get this schematic, either one of these, both of them, this is the RF amp by itself, and this is the complete mixer converter circuit. Drop me a line and they're in JPEG format. There's where to email me at and I'll send you a JPEG of those circuits. And then uh, if you want the full circuits, just say you want all the schematics for the transverter and as they become available, I will email them out to you. Okay, thank you for watching. See you on the next video.